everybody. So this happened yesterday. Israeli forces have uprooted 500 olive trees belonging to Palestinians in the occupied West Bank. Now, according to the mayor of the Haqqaraz village, Israeli troops escorted bulldozers as they uprooted the 14-year-old trees. People in the area say that Israeli authorities are attempting to expel them from their land. An olive tree is highly symbolic for Palestinians and a vital source of income. It's the third reported such incident this year. Of course, this is nothing new, and I've prepared a compilation for you. <laughs> شدرنا شجر هاي لربي عام خل تعب خمسين سنة والله ليه دارت اللي على روسنا وسنسناها ويوم يوم نيجي مرتين وثلاث والله يا ربي مرتين وثلاث نيجي في اليوم عليها بكينا نيجي أنا وأمي وخواتي تبي أنا كم شجرة لكم خمسين زيتون أي الله يعدي خمسين زيتون حد علمي خمسين زيتون عدي هاي ها طلع علينا بدروهن عدي تعبنا خمسين ستين سنة وإحنا نتعب فيهم طب الزيت والزيتون شو بتعملوا فيه؟ بناكله إنا بناكل بناكل ناكل إحنا بالعائلة بحنا خمس الفار بناكله زرع أخوي وين 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 بناكله هذا زمان مزروع قبل زرع زرعنا حياة أبوي وأمي خمسين سنة عمره طلع لي والله بد بدي وقت هسا وأنت بده يطلق وأنت بده يصير ما ربيناهم إلا الواحد زي ما بربي إلا ميت حسرة ميت حسرة تشوفناهم هن هذول هن قطعنا قطعوا لنا اياهن قطعوهن ايش يجوا دكت الدنيا دنيا والناس ناس اليوم الواحد عرضه بس يجي يطيحها عرض ما مش مستجرين الجدار برك من نص الارض كسم الارض كسمين وكل كل زيتون وخربوا الارض كلها الزيتون لما هم يقصوا فيه حامل والاولاد تحتوا في الشجره ويعيطوا واحنا نكون مشان الله مشان الله ولا هذا رزقتنا الناس اشي يعني هناك الا هل Notice who got arrested, and it's not the trespassers committing destruction of property. This is what you call state sponsored terrorism. اليوم نحن باين بشعة شيش ببوكر أنا في مش بخاش لي بشوف لكتوفتي لكتوفتي زتي مزي أخشاف تري ما عشولي كل مش بخاش أخشاف أتلاعد كمو يش لأنه أخذ ميت ببيت במועצת כפר קוסרה טוענים שבלילה נהרסו 170 עצי זית בכמה חלקות שונות ואת המעשים משייכים למתנחלים אבל לא יודעים לומר מי אלה היו ומהיכן הגיעו. מה ראיתם? איך זה התחיל? היה כבר יושן. מתי אנשים, כל האנשים יושנים? באים לחתוך העצים. זה לא בא מהראשון, זה בא מהשבע עשרה פעמים עשו את הדבר הזה. כל הזמן הם עושים את זה, כאילו, או ביום חמישי או ביום שישי. באים, נכנסים, שוברים ובורחים. ואם בא, הצבא עומדים פה, אנחנו באים, כאילו, הם לא נותנים לנו להיכנס אפילו לסדר את המקום, לראות משהו קרה. יש פה 80 עץ, נשאר רק שתי עצים, שלוש עצים. תסתכלי שם מה שעומד, רק את זה משהו נשאר. וחתכו את הכל, לא שרו שום דבר. חתכו את זה, כאילו, עצו את זה מהאדמה, מהאמצע, כאילו, שלא שברו את זה שבר. אני לא יכול להגיד לך מה אני מרגיש בפנים. 
זה הילדים שלי, גם הוא ילדים שלי, בדיוק כמו ילד שלי. עבדתי על זה 15 שנה, גם אני עבדתי על הילדים שלי 15 שנה. בכפר קוסרה שנמצא דרומית לשכם חיים מעל 5,000 איש שפרנסתם העיקרית היא מטעי הזית. בימים אלו מתחילה עונת המסיק ומדובר בנזק כלכלי בלתי הפיך למי שעציו נהרסו. Israeli settlers have once again attacked Palestinian properties, destroying hundreds of olive saplings in the occupied West Bank. Now, local activists say a group of attackers from the Metzat settlement have, uh, has uprooted 500 newly planted olive trees near the town of Shuyuk. Now, the destruction comes a week after Israelis from the same settlement pulled 70 olive saplings out of the ground outside the city of Hebron, also known as Al-Khalil. Now, the olive industry provides a livelihood for about 80,000 Palestinian families in the West Bank. Now, Israeli forces have once again attacked Palestinian olive farms in the occupied West Bank and destroyed hundreds of saplings. A Palestinian Authority official says dozens of Israeli military vehicles and bulldozers uprooted some 300 olive trees as they raided farms overnight in a village near Nablus. The soldiers also raised more than 5,000 meters of stone walls. The olive saplings were planted as part of an agricultural project. Israeli forces and settlers regularly attack Palestinian villages and cause damage to their properties. The olive industry provides a livelihood for about 80,000 Palestinian families in the West Bank. Israeli settlers in the occupied West Bank set fire to a Palestinian olive grove, destroying up to 250 trees. Local Palestinian sources say the attack occurred north of the city of Al-Khalil, also known as Hebron. Days earlier, Israeli settlers vandalized around 80 acres of land planted with olive saplings northeast of the city. According to Palestinian sources, over 800,000 olive trees have been uprooted by Israeli settlers since uh, 1967. This is while the olive industry is a main source of income for many Palestinian families. Illegal settlers are, and always have been, the most extreme of the KKK. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to say Zionists. Sometimes I get them confused. We have no security when we see armed settlers on the roads. Armed settlers who include Lenny Goldberg and Baruch Levy. They say that they have shot at Palestinians in self-defense that how the Torah acts, demands how Jews to act. It demands that when a Jew is in danger, a Jew must remove the danger. And you remove the danger? Yes. No, I'm not saying every Israeli is this lunatic. Some are just born there. And like every other nation in the world, they just want to be proud of theirs. What do you think about Israel as a whole? First of all, I feel about Israel. And then I think, so I love Israel because I was born here and I'm the first generation to be born here in, in, Israel, in Jerusalem. My, my parents and grandparents all moved from one place to another in the world. So I feel very committed to this place. But then again, lately I feel, I feel and I think it's a difficult place for me because my, the principles I grew up on and the values I grew up do not match what's happening here. But make no mistake, illegal settlers are psychopath lunatics. I mean, just think about it. What kind of state of mind would one have to be to trespass and act like this? Early Friday morning, Israeli settlers killed a Palestinian toddler and injured four others after sitting their home ablaze near Nablus and the West Bank. The victim was identified as Ali Adawabsha, an 18-month-old Palestinian baby. 
Eyewitnesses told the press that the Israeli settlers smashed the windows of two homes in the Palestinian village of Doma before throwing flammable liquids and Molotov cocktails inside, causing a big fire in two Palestinian homes. From their side, the Israeli authorities described the incident as an act of terrorism, while the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said that the PA will be going to the ICC to seek justice for the child and his family. This is purely an act of terrorism and racism. Two Israeli terrorists set fire to a Palestinian home trying to kill the people inside, so I don't think that they feel sorry for the loss of a child or whatever that blaze caused. Over the past days, we've seen the media crazily covering the story of a lion that was killed by an American dentist. I wonder if a Palestinian child will get as much coverage and tension as our lion. In June 2014, a similar incident occurred in the West Bank when Palestinian child Mohammed Khdair was found burned and beaten to death by Israeli settlers, an incident which raised tension in the West Bank and led eventually to Israel's protective edge offensive on Gaza. You know, there's a slim chance you might not be aware why Israelis act like this. Um, here's one of the homes in the village, and again you can see up top there the outpost. Um, and as I mentioned before, a lot of the settlers living in these outposts don't really think the Palestinians have any right to be where they are. And so they'll actually come down with large weapons even to try and threaten the villagers, to try to make them leave their homes and land. And here's a picture of one of these armed settlers that's come down to threaten um, a, a villager picking her olives. In the past, these settlers have beaten up numerous villagers. They've poked a young boy's eye out of his face. They've beaten an old woman with her walking stick. They've killed a villager. Uh, they've stolen olives. Uh, keep in mind, of course, that Palestinians in this part of the world are not allowed to have any kind of weapons. And of course, this has happened many more times than I've showed here. This was just in the hope to spark an interest. An olive tree takes between 7 to 10 years to bear a fruit. And the Israeli bulldozers uproot it and distill it in a minute. The tree for us as a Palestinians is a life. We will keep planting and we will keep on living.